It was just then that in the general function of my reason, there was also associated, among other things, the following. Good. If none of the benefits already formally attained by the reason of the beings of the continent Atlantis for ordinary being existence has become the possession of the contemporary beings of this planet, then this might perhaps be logically explained simply because for cosmic reasons, not issuing at all from and not depending upon the three-brained beings there, that second great cataclysm not according to law occurred, during which not only that continent itself perished, but also everything which existed on it. But this Egypt, was not its magnificence still quite recent? There is no denying it. Owing to the third small catastrophe to that ill-fated planet, and also to the fifth, about which I shall speak later, this part also of its surface, it is true, suffered, having been covered with sands, Nevertheless, the three-brained beings dwelling there did not perish, but were only scattered over various other parts of the same continent. And consequently, whatever new exterior conditions may have ensued, there should have survived in their presences, it would seem, the crystallized results of the perfected factors transmitted to them by inheritance for normal being logical mentation. And so, my boy, being desirous after this distressful alstuzori of mine, or as your favorites would say, sorrowful reflections, to clear up for myself the very essence of the cause also of this lamentable fact there, I understood at the end of my minute investigations and became aware with all my being that this abnormality there proceeds exclusively owing only to one remarkable aspect of the chief particularity of their strange psyche. Namely, that particularity which has become completely crystallized and is an inseparable part of their common presences and which serves as a factor for the periodic arising in them of what is called the urgent need to destroy everything outside of themselves. The point is that when during the apogee of the development of such a peculiarity, terrifying to every reason, of the psyche of the three-brained beings, they began to manifest outside of themselves this phenomenal peculiarity of their common presences. That is to say, when they begin to carry out on some part of the surface of their planet the process of reciprocal destruction, then at the same time, without any deliberate aim, and even without what is called organic need, they also destroy everything which chances to come within the sphere of the perception of their organ of sight. During the periods of this phenomenal psychopathic apogee, they destroy also all the objects of the given place and at the given time which these same beings themselves, between whom this terrifying process proceeds, have intentionally produced as well as the productions which have chanced to survive and to reach them from the beings of previous epochs. Well then, my boy, at the period of the fourth sojourn of mine in person on the surface of your planet, I first arrived in the country now called Egypt, and after having stayed there a few days among the remote descendants of the members of the great learned society Akaldan, and becoming acquainted with certain surviving results of their being part of dog duty for the welfare of their descendants. I afterwards, accompanied by two of our tribe, went to the southern countries of the same continent, 
and there, with the help of the local three-brained beings, caught the necessary number of ape beings. Having accomplished this, I telepathically signaled our ship occasion, which descended to us, it must be said, on the first very dark night. And when we had loaded these ape beings into the special section of the ship occasion, which had been constructed for Konohur Har Hark, under his directions, we at once reascended to the planet Mars. And three Martian days later, on the same ship and together with these apes, I ascended to the planet Saturn. Though we had previously decided to carry out the experiments with these apes only on the following year, when they would have become thoroughly acclimatized and orientated to existence under the new conditions, I ascended to the planet Saturn so soon because at my last personal meeting with Gornohur Harhach, I had promised him to be present at his family solemnity, which had soon to take place. And this family solemnity of Gornohur Harhach's was that beings like himself around him were to consecrate the first heir produced by him. I promised to attend this family solemnity, Kri Hra Kri, in order to undertake, regarding his recently arisen heir, what is called the Alnaturornian being duty. Here it is interesting to remark that this kind of procedure for undertaking this being duty took place among the ancient three-brained beings of your planet also, and even reached your contemporary favorites though these latter, just as in everything else, take only the external form of this serious and important procedure. The beings who undertake, as it were, these duties are called by your contemporary favorites, godfathers and godmothers. The heir of Gornohor Harhach was then called Raorch, 